Yo, what's going on YouTube? Jeremy and Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid. That's right, man. I've done a couple of these videos before so far with this whole Last Dance documentary. First of all, it's pretty freaking fire. It's such great content and it just shows what I kind of grew up with. Like, it's pretty phenomenal. But, uh, I've been making these videos for the past few weeks, I believe, like how the resale prices, the nostalgia feeling of these sneakers since the last dance, how the prices have been skyrocketing up on OG colorways to Jordan 1s and so on and so forth. It's been kind of crazy, like seriously. Every time an episode comes on, you best believe once they show the shoe on the show, the price goes up pretty crazy. Like, I just it's kind of like how when I was a kid, I remember before, you know, we had a lot, you know, like internet and stuff like that. Well, there was internet, but it's just, it just, it just wasn't fast internet like how it is today, okay? But, you know, how it was back then was, you had to see what was Michael Jordan wearing during the game. So you'll know what shoes are coming out or what shoes that came out that day or so on and so forth. You know, it's, it's kind of crazy, crazy because like one day he'll have that he got games for a couple games. And then later on the season, then he'll come out with the breads or the playoffs. So, and then you're like, oh snap, gotta go and run out and get the new Jordan colorway. So, because at the time when Jordans came out back when I was a little kid, they didn't come out like all three OG colorways at the same time like this. Bam, they'll have the original one, which is usually a black and white. And then they'll come out with either, a, you know, the, the black and red. And then during the playoffs, it'd be like a black stinker or something, you know, or whatever it, it happens. It just, it's, it's kind of funny how it happens because that's how the marketing was back in the day. Now what I like to do on my channel, I like to do these hold and sell videos. Uh, I was actually one of the first pre people to actually do it, so shout out to everyone that's been uh, also been doing it as well as two for the hold and sell. It's just to help everyone out there for these sneakers because we always have the discussion later on in life like, hey, man, I should hold on to the shoe or should I sell during the shoe or it was too late or, or so on. But right now, prices is so freaking high on these OG colorways, especially during this last dance. I guarantee that once the last episode happens, prices, you best believe, will go back up. But then once nostalgia kind of goes down, die down a little bit, the show's over with, people kind of forget, people go back to life and back to normalcy, will prices kind of go down? And then you miss your shot of making a couple hundred bucks or a couple bucks here and there, you know, there's a difference. So I want to tell you guys like what shoe you, I think you should hold or what shoe you should go ahead and sell uh, right now. So let's go ahead and get into it. Start off with a couple Bre uh, Jordan 13s. This is actually my favorite silhouettes. Um, you got the He Got Games that came out probably 2018, I believe. And then of course you got the Bread 13s came out the same year as well. Pretty hyped up. I just brought up the playoffs. These didn't came out till 2010. I don't mention, they need to re-retro these things again immediately so let's look at the he got games and the bread 13s right now the spread the he got games the lowest asking is 375 and bread 13s are going for like 320 so to me the he got games were already i think were like at 300 before the whole um documentary and the bread 13s wasn't pretty much going for too much but to me i would probably go ahead and sell these like now because i do see once the documentary is over with on the last episode i could see prices go down this is probably one of those things like since the documentary is going on the hype is so high so so if you do have pairs and you were holding on to these for a little bit this is a good time to sell so i could see these things go for like shoot maybe like four hundred dollars during during the last episode could be up to 350 so and that's that's a pretty good come up especially if i was holding holding on for that long and the last shot this one's actually kind of low this is a little crazy because the lowest bid is 260 but the highest asking is like 440. Woo! if they get up to that price of 440 or 400 i would let that thing go like that is crazy to me and you know, during the last episode, I'm pretty sure we will see the last shot. And what's gonna happen? They're gonna show these, and these are gonna be pretty crazy. So, and these came out, I believe, like 2018. So, that's a good one to uh, maybe we'll talk about the flu games. They haven't talked about the flu games just yet. These are going for about the lowest ask is 420, the highest bid is 360. I mean, once the, you know, once the episode happens, you could see these increase a little bit more. I would probably let that go too as well in 2000. These came out in 2016. 
we'll see what happens during the last episode okay so the white cement fours this has like to me i when i see price i always saw these things kind of going up i believe that these were like retail for like 250 lit or yeah 250 or 220 and they have this one has a nike in the in the back uh these came out 2016 as well the lowest asking is 480 and the highest bid is 440 i could see prices 500 even maybe a little bit more i would definitely let it go so you got the cement threes these are lo lowest is 350 and the bread fours are going for 360 and these came out freaking last year so man yep I would let it go too as well but it's a covenant shoe you, you never know so man just, let's see what happens let's talk about and then the Jordan 11s you got the bread 11s so the bread 11s came out last Christmas these are going for like 320 right now so they have went up Concours my goodness Concours are about like $400 and I'm I'm mainly looking at my size $400 in the Space Jams are going about for 420 to me even it's a Jordan 11 even if the last the last uh, episode happens I I see these prices for the 11s do hold because it's a Jordan 11 they they always do well it's one of the hypest uh, Jordans out there so what you, should you sell it immediately if you you know it depends on how hard they go they I could see these things going out really freaking high especially since there's a Jordan 11 but it's up to you. Um, I would hold, that's me personally, but if I see the price is too good to be true, shoot. Best believe I, you, I would let it go. But I just love Jordan, Jordan Lemons, man. One of the, you, know, you know how it is, man. Before all this Jordan 1 hype beast stuff been going on, the 11s was the hype beast special. So if you haven't noticed that the infrared 6s that came out sometime last year, this is the one with the Nike in the back. These are going for about $300 right now. The, I mean, they did spike up a little bit. These were going for like 260, 270 before the last dance. We'll see what happens during the last episode as well. But his first time, when he won his first championship, the sixes, his first championship. That's why we had the DMP sixes, you know, during his first championship. So, yeah, I'll probably, I. Let's see what prices. I could see prices like 350. If it hits 350, I could let it go. I mean, look at the prices for the Jordan ones. Like seriously, the Chicago ones are going for $1,900. Ever since the last episode, like they were already high. This is a 2015 pair. These things were already high before the show. I think they were going for like eight, nine hundred dollars. But for a thousand dollar increase. <laughs> my freaking goodness Woo, how can you say no to a freaking an extra thousand dollars i don't know to me me personally i would hold but since i just i don't blame you guys like seriously a thousand freaking dollars like wow you could have just bought pairs before the show bought them all out for nine hundred dollars and you could have just sold them now after the show and make really good money like who would have thought that same with the band ones. I mean, I can go over all kind of ones that's been going kind of crazy. Band ones, for instance, going for like 900. The band one size nine half is going for about $900. Like that's, to me, that's pretty insane. I mean, even bread toes as well is going for about 670. Honestly, to me, I couldn't say no to any of these prices, but if you do want to hold, they could go up even higher just because it's a Jordan one. Jordan one always holds up in value. It's just something crazy about it, but Wow, ah, man, <laughs> Jordan 1s is just insane, guys. It really has been, so. But let's just see what happens during the last episode. Let's see what prices, uh, keep an eye on the market during the episode and after. Let's see if prices keep going up and down or so on and so forth. Give it time for it to like kind of see what it's doing. But if it goes up, how can you not sell it, you know? I mean, how can you not? It's just, it. this isn't crazy. And then, I wonder if the prices once the uh, the last episode happens, and then a couple days after the hype kind of dies down. Let's see what ha looks like the sh the shoes. I wonder if the price will go down. I could see it go down a little bit, but just since with this whole documentary, and the hype is so high, that's what's driving the price up. So, to me, the last dance definitely helped out on prices. We'll see what happens once it's uh, the show's over with and. No one's really talking about it because like, you know, you get the last dance talking about all the sports networks, everything's going on. 
and they had nothing else to talk about because there's no sports going on so they're talking about the last dance and that's why all these shoes has been going crazy up but once all the hype down i do see it go down a little bit on some prices so i will keep an eye on that but <laughs> the best time to, the best time to probably sell is going to be during the whole last few ep the last episodes and it's it will be pretty crazy man for real <laughs> But anyway guys, that's pretty much it of the video guys. Good luck out there. If you guys want these OG colorways, good luck, man. I, if you was a long time collector like I have been for the past few years, I'm just been really happy to hold on to these. And yeah, man, definitely been a blessing. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video guys. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop vids. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Jumping Chris on IG. On IG. Sometimes I'm on Twitter. And don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jumping Chris. Peace. Stay safe, y'all.